For today's stream, we're gonna be doing a tour at some of the construction that's been taking place off stream. Specifically, we're gonna be looking at the Middle East region, and there's, and there's been a lot of cool stuff that's been built. This seems like as good of a place as any to start, so the Africa build was way earlier this year. That was a gorgeous build. We're gonna be taking a look over here, and there's also quite, there's quite a colossal structure right off the bat here, which is kind of cool. The old city, Sanaz Yemen. Uh, Al Medina Al Kadima? As Salamu. Oh, I'm gonna pronounce this wrong. <laughs> As Salamu Alaikum? Peace be upon you? You tried. <laughs> I apologize in advance. Thankfully, on, on the New Earth server, we don't discriminate, and I will butcher all languages equally as we go. <laughs> Sana'a is the capital and largest city of Yemen. The city sits at 2200 meters above sea level, making it one of the highest elevated world capitals. Fortified Old City is UNESCO World Heritage Site and has been inhabited for over 2500 years. Uh, Sana'a's architecture is incredibly unique. Its houses are like small skyscrapers made from mud bricks, reaching up to eight stories in height. If they were built in the 1600s before modern skyscrapers. I mean, it looks gorgeous. It, it, it is kind of mind-boggling to think of how, how old this actually would be. I love that they just raised the land to kind of get it to where they want it. More info than American history class th taught me. Honestly, it is one of my favorite things in the server is like, uh, uh, people have done a fantastic job at not only doing builds, but also providing some culture and insight in the different parts of the world. Uh, you know, we, we probably aren't as exposed to. Musical melts, Yemen Rainbow Hotel? Is this a thing? It's very colorful. Uh, I don't know what's going on here. There's like chains rising out of the earth. Is this a Cthulhu S car? Yeah. Yeah, no, that's that's an Eye of Cthulhu or something. Okay, we have to go over there, but we have to acknowledge just the huge airport that's over here. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at the size of this. And they got an air traffic control tower when you go all the way up here. Oh god, I can't imagine how long it took to do all this. I love when people do use like the paintings to try and indicate computers. This is really cool. I love like, the fact that they've actually done all like the different transport vehicles and the planes. It's so pretty. The air trap door at the air traffic control tower is still open, I beg you. <laughs> oh, okay, hang on one moment. Alright, hang on. There we go. <laughs> You can sleep easy now. Okay, oh, we have like a kind of cool village here. Oh, it's got like all the scaffold. God love them, they made like little Minecraft kids. Just a nice seaside town over here. It's actually just very cute. It is a shame about the massive widespread pollution that's, uh, you know, 20 meters off to the left. But if you just like crop your pan of view so it's like here, beautiful. Don't look that way. Beautiful. Ah, uh, we have a giant lighthouse over here as well. Oh, someone's done like a map table here as well. There's a book that's been left out. Once this world was a hu world of giants and leviathans, huge beasts of scale and power that exist on land, water, and air. This lighthouse is built on the foundations of such a beast. A monument to the power they hold and a reminder of their downfall? You gotta check out the theater. That's some blood. That's some blood. <laughs> I think I've just discovered a cult. This guy looks very dapper. Creeper Incorporated. <laughs> Creeper? Oh, man. <laughs> Yes, because we're in Oman right now. Wonderful. Holy shit, how big is this battleship? Jesus. The Japanese declared the ship to be sunk on three different occasions, earning the nickname the Grey Ghost. Uh, Enterprise was one of the three US carriers to be commissioned before World War II and survived the entire war. He participated in major battles at Pearl Harbor and Midway. Enterprise and her planes downed over 900 enemy planes and sunk 71 enemy ships in World War II. He won 20 battle stars more than any other US ship in World War II. My dad served on the Enterprise. It was falling apart. He dropped the toolbox on the catwalk and it fell through with zero resistance. Oh my god, that sounds treacherous. That's not- that does not seem safe. If a toolbox just rips through the ship. Is the toolbox okay? That's the main concern here. House of a man who doesn't have interior design and skills. Don't worry, I have ideas. I think he just popped more signs down. More fancy plant and drawers. <laughs> Dining area. The great fancy kitchen. Of course, small bathroom too, of course. The living room, gorgeous. I love what you did with the settee and how it matches. And with that like kind of throw pillow you have in the back of the sofa. Oh, and that's an attention to detail. The frame is a building located on the city of Dubai that is the largest picture frame of the world. A very wacky build that serves as a museum and evidently a place to take some photos. Oh, so is it just a massive frame? You just look through it, behold. Gigantic art installation. Dubai has an Asia portal. 
It does feel it, doesn't it? The strange Madha Noah border. Uh, this is a very small region within the greater United Arab Emirates. Within it, there's a small region that comes in the town of Mada and a small range of mountains that officially belongs to Oman. But within that small Omani region is the UAE. Uh, there's an even smaller region called Nawa that belongs to the United Arab Emirates. So it is a tiny part of the UAE that is entirely surrounded by Oman, which is also entirely surrounded by the UAE. Just a funky thing to look at. Okay, so it's like a region surrounded by a different country, surrounded by another country. Matryoshka doll. Yeah, it's kind of giving that vibe, isn't it? The Burj Khalifa by Nitre. Fun fact, the Burj Khalifa is the largest building ever made by mankind. Trust me, I have even visited. There is even tiny chocolate statues of, of it at the top. It's pretty tall. I think they've gone up to the height limit here on the server too to try and demonstrate it. Or at least close to it. There it is. The big boy. The black stone, uh, Al Haraju Al Aswad, is a rock set in a silver frame on the eastern corner of the Kaaba. The rock is a holy relic for Muslims, but has been revered since pre Islamic times. In Islamic tradition, the black stone fell from heaven to show Adam and Eve where to build a temple to God. After Noah's flood, it is said to be found by the prophet Abraham when the angel Gabriel, Gabriel revealed it to him. Abraham ordered his son Ishmael, Ishmael the ancestor of the Arabians, build the Kaaba to place the stone in. After a fire in 600 AD, the stone was removed and had to be placed back onto the Kaaba. Uh, the tribes of Arabia couldn't decide who would get the honors, so they asked the next man who came into the temple to decide for him. That man was 35-year-old Muhammad, five years before his first revelations. He placed the black stone in the center of a cloth, and all the tribal elders held the cloth while Muhammad placed the stone back in its frame. Despite being broken, stolen, and rebuilt several times throughout history, the black stone is the whole holiest parts of the Kaaba, and many pilgrims kiss the black stone during their circumambulation, maybe that is right, uh, of the Kaaba as Muhammad is said to do according to tradition. Butchered English. English major. I've seen pictures of like kind of people who are kind of walking around it, and inside this floor it's almost like completely swamped with just kind of people going around. Oh god, did someone build the fucking evergreen boat in the uh, canal? <laughs> oh, I suppose this one was kind of inevitable. <laughs> Hey, remember when global trade, like, just kind of ground to a halt? Hammond, you idiot! <laughs> Tonight on Top Gear! <laughs> it does sound like something that would happen. I got some gorgeous just oasis set up here. Nothing too fancy with this build, but it's actually very pretty. Guy just lounging. Oh, he made a sand castle! This is Petra! An ancient architect, architectural wonder, built around 400 BC, I think, and it's in modern day Jordan, in the desert. Also a wonder in Civ 6. Vastly improving yields on desert tiles. Yeah, uh, I mean, that's in part where I know it from, I'll be honest. The, the Islamic call to prayer. Oh god, you even put in a little, like, kind of, uh, pronunciation guide for some of, like, the, the letters. That's uh, very much appreciated. This is an Islamic prayer here, though, so, like, God is greater. You say it four times, I bear witness that there is no God but God. I bear witness that Muhammad is the messenger of God. Hasten to the prayer. Hasten to salvation, God is greater, there is no God but God. That is wonderful, like, like, to actually share something like this. And then you actually have it here, like, like, in the original language as well. And the original script as well. It's fascinating to just have that represented. Thank you very much. I do appreciate the translation. Olive trees are a major crop in Palestine, accounting for an estimated 57% of cultivated land in Palestinian territories. They've been growing the area for around 5,000 years, and some of the trees are thousands of years old themselves. They're mostly grown for olive oil, which is one of Palestine's few major exports represent economic security to many in the West Bank. Olives and their oil have also been a part of religious belief and traditions in Judaism, Christianity, Islam, and even Greek mythology. Unfortunately, many of these trees have been uprooted by Israeli forces. Increasing temperatures have been worse than harvests recently. That's very sad. What is what is the significance of an olive in religious terms? They're yummy. I don't think that's quite it. You're not wrong, but it symbolizes peace. Oh, it's in like the olive branch, is it? Oh, it's a sea moss. That's really cool. Jefferson! My beloved. He's so good. Best penguin. He looks a little less scary with his teeth here. Oh god, because the land came available! I don't know if you guys remember this, but back in one of the first Europe builds, this bridge was started. They were finally able to finish it! Because that other region would have been available, like, god, summer of 2020. But the land is finally connected. Dome of the Chain, an Islamic prayer house adjacent east of the Dome of the Rock. 
This rock is believed to be a place Muhammad ascended to heaven as part of a physical and spiritual journey known as, you pronounce it the Mirage? Mikraj, uh, after completing Isra, a different journey to the Fardas Mosque in the same night. After this, he speaks to Allah regarding the details of prayer. Uh, this rock is also significant for other uh, Abrahamic religions as the place where the creation of the world began and where God created Adam. It's also thought to be the place Abraham attempted to sacrifice his son. Isaac in Christianity and Judaism, Ishmael for most Muslims. Uh, this Muslim shrine, the Dome of the Rock, was first completed in 691 to 2 CE, making it one of the oldest works of Islamic architecture standing today. Although the original dome collapsed in 1015, it was rebuilt in 1022, and has been refurbished and slightly changed several times since. Of course, uh, being in the old city of Jerusalem, it has changed hands often and converted into a church and back again. It was in fact built on the site of the second Jewish temple, possibly influenced by the design of the Church of the Seat of Mary. Proper culture and just religious history here. Yeah, that's always really cool. This is the design of it. This plays uh, Yama Mawil Al Hawa, a well known Palestinian folk song. I was unable to find a consistent translation of the lyrics, but all the versions I read speak of love and perseverance. It's a very sweet song. That's wonderful. I do appreciate the little live band for it. <laughs> intro, to Syria, intro to Syria and the Umayyad Mosque. Alan become the Damask Syria? Alan become. <laughs> it's not. Yeah, this is probably what I said, but that, I don't think that's what was meant to be written there. Uh, the Umayyad ma ma uh, Mosque was built on a Byzantine cathedral dedicated to John the Baptist in 715 AD. It's the fourth holiest site in Islam after Mecca, Medina, and Jerusalem because the Prophet Muhammad's grandson, Ali ibn Hussein, uh, was imprisoned here after being taken a prisoner of war along with Muhammad's family. After Ali ibn Hussein was executed, his head was displayed here for many years before eventually being moved to Cairo. Well, John the Baptist, is it Yahya? And Jesus, Isa, or Yasua, uh, are both considered prophets in Islam as well. It is believed that John the Baptist's head is also kept in the mosque. It's the tomb of Saladin, who was the leader of the Ayyubid uh, Caliphate and repelled the Christian crusaders in medieval times, is located in a garden next to the mosque. In here is located across the street. And then Shukran Wa Ma Salama? Thank you and goodbye. Thank you. Okay, thanks. Oh my god, it's so pretty. Like, look at this gorgeous structure. The laws of justice which uh, uh, Hammurabi, the wise king, established. Yeah, the code of Hammurabi is the longest and best preserved legal code from Mesopotamia. It was written in around 1755 BC in the old Babylonian dialect of the Akkadian language. It serves the law code for ancient Babylon and was written by Hammurabi, the sixth king of the first dynasty of Babylon. Uh, the steel uh, stone slab on which this was written was discovered in 1901 in Iran, where it has been taken 600 years after its creation as loot. It now resides at the uh, Louvre Museum in Paris. But to be honest, I don't know why the French have it or how it got there. Yeah, there's kind of like this huge historical crisis we have with artifacts that have been stolen um, or like kind of looted like through the years that in all honesty probably should be given back to their rightful places in the world. If he knock out one's teeth, his teeth shall be knocked out. <laughs> you knock out someone's teeth, it's like, well, yours are going through now. A toot for a toot. Babylon's baby lot. <laughs> Oh yeah, this is where they left all their kids at the daycare in Babylon. Plus two housing, plus fifteen percent growth. Oh, cause yeah, this is this is the hanging gardens, isn't it? Yep. Even in, like IRL, if they added like little a little sign at each of these like kind of wonders that appear in the civilization games as to what their stats are in game, I think I'd be okay with that. Like you just go see the pyramids and there's like a sign near it. Like if you construct this, you get two workers for your empire and a new liberty policy. And we have another structure here. Is this is a church of some kind. Cathedral of the Holy Cross. This is the Cathedral of the Holy Cross. Contrary to its grand sound name, it's a cute little church on the island of Akdamer. A small footprint of humanity amongst the rugged snow caps that dot the sparsely populated land of eastern Anatolia, Turkey. It was built by the medieval Armenians during the 10th century when they ruled these lands. It made this little hamlet of peace because it was only a hundred or so years ago when this land was filled with tragedy after tragedy. But where one was in full swing, a strong current of nationalism swept up a huge proportion of the world at large. Tensions rose until the war broke out. I was gonna inevitably gonna burst. Welcome to speak on the history of this subject as much as I'd love to. 
especially considering the political arguments that would soon flood RT's comment section, considering its importance and infamy in the discourse of this region. Still, I built this as a monument to those who unfairly lost their lives during this time, no matter what flag they flew. The world, the real war one, not th this meme land, is certainly shit, and at many times it can feel heavy on our conscience. I know I think about this stuff every day, but the first step to making it better is understanding our past, what made us the people we are today, and what we can do to avoid these tragedies before it happens to us again. That's honestly quite sweet, uh, respectful, and almost oddly motivational. Yeah. So, uh, those who forget their history are doomed to repeat it. It's very important. Like, you have to learn tragedies. It's incredibly important. The year was 2007, and I was the hottest new musician in all of San Diego. I was performing at a local movie theater when my stepbrother slash manager informed me that a record executive will watch me perform. After the concert, the executive told me, to, told me and my brother to come to his office in LA. When we got there, the record company told me that they wanted to sign me and use my song for a Super Bowl commercial. However, things only went downhill from there. While my brother signed the contract, he got distracted by a comedically large shrimp and didn't read it properly. So we accidentally gave away creative control of the song. <laughs> they did a terrible remix of it that they planned on using during the commercial. Thankfully though, through various hijinks, my brother managed to switch the CDs and get the original song included. And the whole conflict kind of just resolved itself somehow. Is this a reference to something? <laughs> this is a Drake and Josh reference. What is it doing here of all places? It's quite grandiose for this book to be <laughs> Is this like a monument? It's the Iraq and Iran border. Is it? Okay. This is the Al Shahid Monument. Oh god, okay. It it's like split in two, is it? Something like almost otherworldly about that. Like look at this picture of it. It's just kinda like looming there. Um so this is one of like the largest built up structures in this region. Uh what they appear to have done this is like just a giant city. <laughs> it's a magnemite. <laughs> Now that almost looks like, um, for the Legends Arceus games, like a regional form of Magnemite. Antonio's Pizza and Pasta Diner. Oh, this is very cute. Press my button for pizza. <laughs> he spits it out. Oh my god. It's so good! <laughs> That was amazing. <laughs> B puns inside. Oh, this is gonna be like the worst build of the build. We have to check this. Actually, it's it's kind of amazing already. You better believe these B puns are top tier. Nectar. I barely even know her. These puns are beyond weird. Possibly, RT will see these. These puns are unbelievable. You met my partner. They're non-binary. <laughs> Maybe we should stop with these puns. That's not even a pun there. This guy's just like a genuine complaint on the wall. It's like, guys, we need to stop. <laughs> Face the queen's judgment. It's actually so cute. The bee puns are horrific, but I love the building. They're absolutely gorgeous though. Oh, this is just a nice structure. Got a little flag up here. Look at the little market. We got smack, which is fish. Cubs, bread. Lamb, which is meat. Halloween, is it? Which are sweets and ice cream. I know that one. The Norden Undead Asylum. Oh, now I see it. Yeah, so this is the first bonfire. This is where you fight the asylum demon boss. This is when the floor breaks away and you fall down. Uh, and here's where you start the game. That's what these signs were. Yeah, I was wondering what, like, what these were doing here. Sonic the Hedgehog History Museum. <laughs> All information from memory and the Sonic News Network. Oh, we have to give this a look. It's Green Hill Zone. <laughs> Not looking as green. Uh, they ran out of grass. Sonic the Hedgehog is the first game in the series released for the Sega Genesis in 1991 as compared to the Super Mario. The game sets the story of, so of Sonic and Dr. Ivo Eggman Robotnik as Sonic saves his animal friends who were turned into robots by Robotnik. Unfortunately, we may not have time to go through every single Sonic game here. They all seem to be represented. Fucking Sonic Heroes. Oh, I remember that one. Sonic Heroes! Sonic Heroes! God, is this like a space station? Oh, the scale of this, though. The Devraza gas crater is a natural gas deposit in the Karakum Desert of Turkmenistan. Soviet scientists set the crater on fire in 1971 to prevent the spread of harmful methane gas. And it has been burning ever since. It's straight up been burning for 50 years. That can't be good. Like, holy shit. That just burns forever. It's one hot bathtub. <laughs> the punch out seam. Oh, hang on. Okay. It's 
like a remixed version. <laughs> oh, they did this bit. That's wonderful. It's so hard to do note block creations. This is... Oh god, how do you pronounce this one? I'm gonna need a hand. Yakchal? This dome of sandstone is called a Yakchal, an ancient Persian ice house used to store ice harvest, harvested during the cold winter nights. It uses a huge amount of insulation and cooling techniques to ensure the ice within the pit remains frozen even through the summer. From the Persian plateau scorching heat, having these coolers was a lifesaver, and ice was often used to cool traditional deserts such as Falutha. In fact, uh, sorbets are often believed by historians to have originated from ancient Persia around 550 BC onwards. They were called sh sharbats and used a mix of fruit, syrup, honey, milk, and sugar as flavoring. There are some uh, yakchals still standing even today. And while they became relatively obsolete with refrigerators, uh, fridges are called yakchals in Iran, Afghanistan, and Tajikistan in reference of the ancient predecessor. That's kind of cute. <laughs> Azerbaijan Carpet Museum. Oh, okay, this building in Iroh has many types of art, but specifically carpets, so it's shaped like one. It's in seafront part in Baku, the capital of Azerbaijan. I mean, I guess it's a lot of carpet in Minecraft. I don't know what I expected, but yep. Yeah. No, this has carpet. Very comfy floor. Go for a nice stroll in it. Your cat would like it here. Uh, honestly, some fantastic creations that have been made here. Thank you as ever to everyone who's been taking part in the server. I hope you've been having fun in it. Thank you for sharing culture and history and just some generally fun builds. Uh, I, this is a really cool region, honestly. There's a lot of cool projects that have been made here. I, I'm excited to see what's next.